forget to like, share, and subscribe. If y'all don't pick my sign up. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time visiting the channel, hello, hello, and welcome or welcome back. I am a reaction channel, and I do reactions on pretty much whatever I'm in the mood to do a reaction on, honey. And today, I am back in the business of real, right, and uncut. And let me tell you something. The crew is just out of out of control. They they out of order. They out of control. But they in control and in order of a, of a substance abuser, abuser uh, um, crackhead. And so they doing what crackheads do. They get locked up because they do some foolishness. Anyway, y'all, KD locked up. KD locked up. KD is locked up. Mike got out. KD went in. And the key key of it all is that KD got locked up with Robert. Her and Robert somehow don't linked up driving around in a unauthorized vehicle. Well, let me tell you, let me put y'all up on something what happens with um with folks. So out by where I live, we I don't know if they still call crackheads cutties, do they? Well, whatever. They get a hold of somebody's car. Right? Usually somebody who loves a crackhead. And they get a hold of their car and the crackhead will sell their car. They sell it to people. Whatever car they got. Let's say they gonna took their grandma car. Grandma, they go stop by grandma's house and say, Grandma, can I use your car? And grandma being naive and just want to love on her loved one. Say, go ahead, baby. Come right back. Then the crackhead will take the car and sell it to somebody. Loan it to somebody for $20. So they can get a hit. Now that happens. Let's say that happened on Friday. And then by the time the, 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 the a person want to get the car back. Because grandma is blowing up their phone. Or got somebody else looking for them. By that point, now we talking Monday. So grandma don't want to call the cops, but she got to call the cops because she need her car back because she got a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. By that point, Katie and Robert is riding around in her car since Friday because some crackhead don't gave them the car for $20. And they need the car so they could go do robberies and stuff, allegedly. Or they take the car and then they do runs with the car and then they charge people $5, 10 15 $20 for the car. Do you see what I'm talking about? So now grandma's car is in the hands of whoever, but now it's been reported stolen. That's where Rob, Robert and KD come into play. Because now when the cops pull them over because they run the tags and see that the car is missing, they take them in. For a stolen car. Wow. Honestly, they didn't steal the car, but they're in a car that has been reported. So, girl. And then when they run their information, Katie got a rap sheet. Bert, Robert got a rap sheet. Everybody's got a, a, a warrant. Failure to appear. Now, that could be from 1982. It don't matter. When they get you, they gonna get you, and that's just what it is. So these these folks is ending the summer with a bang, honey. They ended the summer with a bang. And that's it, and that's all. Katie locked up. By the time I post this, who knows? Ghost would have got her out. So we'll see. Leave a comment below. Should Ghost just let all them rot in prison and jail? What y'all think? Because I thought Mike should have stayed. Yes. Because when Mike got out, the way he ate that steak, that boy was hungry and still fine. Yup. Guess what? I got a sandwich. Hit that like button. Hit that guy button. Hit that like button.
To subscribe, subscribe say subscribe to Psychology Eats. Subscribe to Cowboy Eats. Not Cowboy. <laughs>